The Chinook helicopter reminded me of 1st of July 2009. Uh, we're in this place called Babaji in Helmand Province, Afghanistan. And I'm in this helicopter and we're doing a, an aerial reconnaissance because we've got this big battle coming up. Um, and I'm looking down at the ground and we're going to be fighting in an area, area of very fertile land because there's lots of canal irrigation channels around uh, the Helmand River. Um, so there's a lot of fields, there's a lot of produce, there's, a lot of, there's just a lot of jungle type environment. And I'm looking down and I know that there are going to be at least 350 Taliban fighters in this area. And I'm a bit nervous and I'm thinking, geez, there's so many places the enemy can hide. And I just think, I hope we don't lose any soldiers. I hope we don't get any soldiers killed. 4th of July 2009, two of my soldiers were killed and several injured and I get blown up and suffer a brain injury and then I'm actually travelling on one of those helicopters being medically evacuated to Camp Bastion Hospital. In 2009 there were a huge number of people that were killed and very seriously injured. And it's not just the people that have been killed or injured, the soldiers, but it's everyone else that is connected and affected by it. Their immediate family, their friends, their colleagues, anyone associated with them. And it can have an impact, whether it's a, just a slight one or just incredibly devastating. A lot of these people, a lot of the soldiers and the families and the children that I have got to meet, uh, all have needed help in some way. The veterans' charities can provide that help if they need it, and many of us do. They call this the little card with a big heart. But what is it? This is membership to the National Veterans Lottery. When you sign up, you are helping fund life-saving projects for British veterans in need. Have you got your card yet?